Hello, I'm Amy from the Brentford Public Library. I'm here to show you another great resource to help you learn to code. Arduino is an open source programmable microcontroller. Basically, a computer where the code is open for anyone to modify. This means there are many people creating ways for you and I to use Arduino to make our projects amazing. One of the best parts about the kit you'll borrow from the library is the number of accessories that come with it. This gives you the opportunity to create a variety of projects right at the start. In my last two videos, we've talked a lot about circuits, and you'll still need those circuit building skills. Arduino offers us a new way to build a circuit. This is a breadboard. It makes it easier to connect wires and accessories like lights and motors without clips or soldering. The breadboard has rows of metal strips that are conductive under the holes in the plastic cover. When you push wire into a hole, electricity is then able to flow from the wire along the metal strip and to anything else plugged into that strip. Strips run across the numbered rows but not across the gap in the center and along each of the sides marked by the red and blue lines. The red line strip is also marked with a plus sign and the blue with a minus sign. These suggest that you use them for power coming in, the plus sign, and the other for wires going to the ground, marked with the minus sign. This helps us keep our wires organized. To build a simple LED circuit, we would start with a wire plugged into the Arduino pins which supply power and plug it into the power strip on the breadboard, the one marked with the red line and the plus sign. Electricity is now able to flow all along the power strip. Here you see the path of the electricity highlighted in green. We can plug a wire into any of the holes along that power strip and then into one of the numbered rows on the breadboard. Now power can flow from the Arduino to the power strip through the wire and into this row. If we continue like this, conducting electricity all the way back to the ground pin on the Arduino, we have created a complete circuit. You can find more information about building a circuit in my first two videos. If you missed them or want to watch them again, be sure to visit the home-based activities page of our website. The Arduino kit comes with the Arduino Projects book. This book has all the information you'll need to get started with Arduino. It gives you information about using the board, the basics of each of the components of the kit, and 14 project instructions. For each project, you'll see a list of what you'll need, a diagram of how to build your circuits, and all the code with an explanation of what each section of code actually does. To code Arduino, you can either download the software to your computer or use the online editor. You'll find links to both at arduino.cc. Both the downloaded software and the online editor have the projects from the starter kit, those you'll find in the Arduino project book, preloaded so you don't have to type the code. I think a great way to learn to code is by tinkering with it. The Arduino projects book gives suggestions for each project on ways to change the code for different results. I took the code for a switch from one project and added it to the Arduino theremin project. Now my theremin only plays when the switch is pressed. You may have seen or used Tinkercad online for 3D design. The Tinkercad web app can also be used to code Arduino. This feature is called Circuits. You can find it online at tinkercad.com. With Tinkercad Circuits, you drag the components for your design onto the board. Tinkercad automatically adds code blocks to get you started with the components you've chosen. Maybe you're waiting for an Arduino kit to be available from the library? You can build your skills and work on your projects while you wait with the simulation feature. The simulation feature lets you test your projects before you build them and load the code, and also code and work with Arduino when you don't have one with you. There is a huge community contributing projects and ideas for Arduino. If you need inspiration, you could try the Arduino Project Hub. You'll find it at arduino.cc. Make Magazine also has many project plans available, and you can borrow the physical copies of the magazine from the library. 
There are so many projects to create with Arduino. Solve a problem, invent something, or just create something fun. Be sure to share your creations with us on social media. We love to see what you're making. If you're looking for more fun activities to try at home, be sure to check out our home-based activities page on our website at brantfordlibrary.ca. See you next time.